Okay, hello. Um, right, third time lucky. Um, had some technical issues, um, i.e. me, not plugging the microphone in, etc. But anyway, okay. Um, we're looking at uh, Apollo 17. Uh, there's the emblem, quite like them, just thought I'd show you. Um, uh, this is a quick description of the tools that I use. Um, so, like I'm always going to say, just um, pause and um, have a read, have a look. Um, right, okay. This is the image in question, AS17162394745. Uh, it's available, I'll put the link um, down below, and um, from ASU, Arizona State University, courtesy of NASA. Um, this is the raw image, it comes in, it's quite large. Um, so anyway, I <clears throat> had a look at this a few years ago, but um, I happened to stumble upon Scott C. Waring's um, UFO sightings daily site where he was talking about an alien mothership, um, which is over here, if you can see this area here. But um, as I don't like to label stuff too much, because I always find out it's something different or generally part of something bigger um, won't really be looking at that but I'm going to show you so I'm quickly I'm going to show you quickly with the um, tools in hand what I look for and um, <clears throat> well what I found basically we'll do a little bit of work on it then I'll show you the main image which has been enlarged <coughs> excuse me so We uh, let's have a look here. Right, okay, we can see the mothership. What I noticed, if you can see here, it's like a line running through. You can see that. Okay, runs through here. Oh, stopwatch. Excuse me got to keep an eye on the time <coughs> right so you can see this line running through here there we go running through here now initially I thought it's a, it's a stitch line like they're using the mosaic images where um, it's just another part of the image which they stitch together simple but the closer I looked at it, <clears throat> I thought no. So basically I'll just fly in with the tools and, and see if I can pull any more information out of the image. Um, if you look at my first video, it explains much more about how the tools are used and stuff. Um, so uh, check it out. Right. So... And I will be zooming in and out. It's very difficult to gauge how people are going to see this on, um, you know, depending what sort of device they're using. But as you can see this now, that it's quite pixelated. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but the other one I'll show, I'll just show you how initially I, I start off, what I found and uh, how I pursued it. So you can see this there, doesn't look too much like a, a uh, stitch line. So let's just bump that up a bit. Now, what I initially thought when I started doing these videos, I'm going to make them into tutorials, but um, time-wise it's crazy. And anyway, it's sort of a bit of a waste of time at the moment um, until I get more interest in the site and people want to try this themselves, which I highly recommend. It's the only, 
this um, when you do it yourself it's um, it's amazing So as you can see, it's pulling, I'm using the um, dodge tool at the moment um, on the highlight setting. You can vary the exposure. Um, I tend to do everything reasonably slow so I don't miss any detail. It's quite easy to um, bleach stuff out and miss stuff. So I'm just going to give you a quick idea on this one, then we'll go and have a look at the other one, which I, I, I reckon I've probably spent about, um, I don't know, four, four hours on it or something. Um, but it's enough to give you uh, an idea of... The, and why... <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> what I tend to do, it or what it is, it's uh, you're basically filling in the gaps. Um, so you can go into the shadows and you can pull out information you can't necessarily see, which has been masked with prior editing. Um, with uh, Probably with these photographs, something as simple as just um, the brightness and the contrast to hide what is there. I haven't used any brightness or contrast on this because there was a lot of um, contrast in it full stop. So I'm just going to... So like I say, pause the image. I mean, the, the thing is, we're dealing with very low quality poor um, photos in the beginning so it takes a while for you to get used to what you're looking at um, so like I say pause it and you know just check it out see if you can see stuff so to me this just this just popped out straight away So there's a definite, as we can see, there's a definite line. It, it runs all the way through here. I'll show you this area here. This whole area, all the way up to the top. <clears throat> all through here. They look, um, there's lots of geometric shapes. Um, very constructed. Oh, we'll have a look at that in a sec. So as you can see, this line is still forming. There was something I was watching, <coughs> not space related, but earth related. Um, and the proof various scientists were were, were asking for um, in it was they're in our archaeological sites were um, geometric um, shapes in structures and, and stuff like that, which I thought was quite interesting. So I can use it horizontally or vertically or swirly and it will still just pull out the same shape. It's not laying anything else down. So okay, <clears throat> we have this line with lots of stuff connected to it. Let's have a let's quickly try and pull that out a bit more. See if you can see the, the strangeness of it. So 
was a bit gutted really because the last the last one that I did of this was um, it was half an hour and I thought oh this is this is getting easier and it went really well and then when I uploaded it and tried to do the uh, editing for the subtitles um, there was no couldn't hear my voice so don't know what happened I think I just didn't plug the microphone there you go right okay let's have a look at the big one okay just quickly point some areas out here this we were looking at which looks like a crater this thing here It's good training. If you're really interested in this, or you've never seen this before, just pause these and have a look at these images and see if you can see anything. Right here, this area here. Something else as well. Um, where are we? This as well looks like nothing at the moment but just this shape so like a triangular shape type sort of thing there's little bits of here you can see stuff in the shadows and that's what i sort of look for each image is different though you have to approach it in a slightly different way with the tools anyway okay let's have a look at the main one so this is the area we were just looking at so we'll start at one end This is an area I pointed out. This is the end of the line, well, as much as we can see anyway. Um, yeah. This is, um, this image is uh, it's quite cool. I think the, the angle is around about 20 to 25 degrees to the surface. So you're gonna get a lot uh, you're going to see a lot of the side of stuff plus the top of stuff more 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 than usual normally it's around about 30 35 degrees um so think of this in three dimension as well so here we have this line coming through And there's definite, definite stuff like the archaeologists want geometric formations running through here. Can you see it coming through here? This looks like some sort of uh, like a covering of some description. Now, scale wise, scale um, wise on this, I'm not too. I don't know. I haven't found out that information. But it, it's pretty large and I say in the um, the title um, travel system so if whatever it is using this to travel from 
one side to the other and they are our sides then you get an idea of uh, scale you can see where I've darkened this down. There was so much contrast. I will darken it down with the tools locally um, as not to affect anything else. Um, the line running through check out this this goes up want something else this looks like a the top of something other pieces coming out but you have to study these images I'm so used to looking at this stuff now it's just, it's practice, literally. So basically I've only worked on the line and, you know, I've worked out from the line. So here, see if you can see anything here. When I say anything, it's the whole lot. See this here? That there, let's have a look at that because you know what people want is regular geometric formations. Um, certain people can look at them and still know it's it, it's not it's they're rocks, but they're multiple regular geometric, which we are told, um, doesn't happen on the moon. Let's have a look at this, see if we can pull some more of this out. This is why I blow the images up. So, you can get to a point here where it's like you, you can't decipher anything. but you can really get into it, into the shadows and pull more information out. So when you get back, it sort of compresses of sorts. Gives it more clarity. be honest, in, in all the images I work on, most of the in interesting stuff is hidden. Or well, most of the images I work on, um, everything is hidden. So, there's a certain point, I use quite a big screen so to me, this is um, where I can see things clarifying themselves. So we had that there, and there's some stuff over here. Let's do it at this level. And all I'm using at the moment is the uh, is working on the highlights. I'll just quickly show you. See, this is good as well because this takes your eye off what you're looking at. So you're going to have to readjust again. 
So this is the actual tool. It doesn't lay any ink down of sorts or anything like that. It literally pushes or pulls, lightens or darkens uh, the pixels in the image. So back we go. You're going, oh my God, what am I looking at? An absolute jumble. You give it time and you will understand what I'm looking at. See in the shadows here. What I found you know, on various moons and planets, there's a very regular shape which turns up, um, and it's almost like a triangle with a with a dome on top. I don't know what it is. I don't even know if there's an example in here of one. There's a small one there. You see, it's like a dome-like. So what I initially do, I use this tool, depending on the pictures, um, what it does do, and looks quite odd that you can, uh, because you work, you work the shadows out, it sort of, it gets rid of the terrain in, in respects, so and it can look quite odd, but I just want to get as much hidden information out of there. It's just it's just the nature of it and the nature of the tools, um, which I'll show you in in other photographs. I'll just do a zoom in. Also, what I find a lot of as well is uh, there's different the the images are so inconsistent with um, how the the pixels are structured or um, which just says to me that. Um, they've been played with. I've got some great examples of that with some uh, Mercury, Planet Mercury stuff um, where I had to go and do some investigation into pixel anomalies and um, pattern noise and, and stuff like that just to see if I wasn't going crazy. Basically, so you can see this. Oh, there's the line. And this stuff just goes off and on. Stuff in here. Filling in the gaps. It's quite crazy as well. Filling the gaps and things most of the time are collected, uh, connected to the next light bit. You 
see. Is that connected? It's connected. And the tool will only pull out what's in the picture. Have a closer look. So this, I will call it a travel system. It's all connected and then everything is connected to it, runs off it. This is what it looks like anyway. There's another darkness. Remember the perspective element. And this, this area is quite unusual as well. Checking in the shadows, you'll only find go like that on here how the tool works and every time I release the pen it lays down you see the exposure another percentage of what ever you've got it set at very simple stuff very easy to use this but this program is completely free free license, open source. If you've got a computer, you need to be reasonably powerful to handle the size of the uh, the images you, you have to blow it up to, to be able to do the work like this. But how, how bizarre this looks. Carries on through. Now, to me, that crater I showed you at the beginning looks to be going underneath it. There is just so much going on. This is why these images can look very, very compu uh, confusing. <clears throat> you see this line above here. That there. Let me just make this, see if I can pull this out for you. Can you 
see that now. Regular geometric patterns. Always looking in the shadow. Always look in the shadows. You can find a lot of stuff. Things they haven't even blurred out as well. That's another thing you deal with. Pixelations, filters, blurred out areas. But using these tools with the range of this stuff. Um, so your shadows, midtones, highlights, dodging and burning them. You, you can squeeze blurred areas and pull um, details out of them. I'm not at that stage on this one yet, so uh, I just wanted to show you. These bizarre shapes. Structural formations. Connected to what looks like some sort of travel system, travel way. Probably come back to do another one on this as I do more work on it because it spreads all the way down <clears throat> the image it's everywhere so there you have it sea of rains Apollo 17 1972 um, right so I'm gonna get out of here and I'll see you on the next one Hopefully this recording and everything's cool. Um, cheers and thanks for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.